Hey everyone, hey chickies, today we're doing a video again on the new um, Antares Scorpius. So this is some more information, I know we've been getting a lot of leaks, but this is to add on top of those leaks. So all this other info we've, like, we've seen, we've read over the last week or so, and this is some new info. And it's rather interesting, it tells us the new SEM speed and max speed of the Antares compared to the standard Scorpius. Now I can only assume these stats because it may be lighter and doesn't have a turret hanging off it which you know would make it somewhat more aerodynamic as compared to the standard fighter. Now as you can see with the stats if anyone knows what the angular velocity is and I know it's on some of the stats and lots on the stats pages that would be great. Now I would assume its speed may be entering Atmo but you know some info I can find on um, this like angular velocity is it it's it states time rate at which an object rotates or revolves around about an axis or at which the angular displacement between two bodies changes so make it that what you will it's a lot of uh, algebra in there now with that over and done with down to the hard stats so as you can see the SEM of the standard Scorpius is around 218 and the Antares is 238 now going from there to the max speed of the standard Scorpius is 1250 ms. Following from the Antares, which is now 1303. Now seeing that, you know, um, the new and improved Scorpius is faster than the standard model, it's actually uh, interesting to see such a step up in speed. And like, as I said, it doesn't sound like a lot or much of a jump, but one of the fastest ships I've flown personally is the MSR and the 350R. So the MSR flies around 1287 and the 350R I think it is, that it flies around 1347. And remember, there's these are some of the fastest ships, like the, the, the 350R is one of the fastest. Let me know down in the comments if there are any faster, like any ones that are faster. I might have messed it up. Now, I can't remember exactly, but this will put this at one of the tops, like, speeding ships obviously not as fast as the 350r now it can reach this um like speed but will this make this an effective interdiction ship and will there be people in the community <coughs> that will call for a nerf that will call for a nerf like a call of duty gun now i say that you know this is going to be one of the top like speed well high speed ships but then having a look at some of the statistics and some of the stats I've been looking at, will this create an issue for this ship? Because as I've seen, and a lot of us have seen, there are no real like stats for this ship. There's no real any hard points that we've seen in any, any images, really. Like, I don't see um, any like any of that sort of information anywhere. And it might just be me being... Um, a little bit pedantic about it but I feel like there could be much more information given in terms of that if you understand what I mean I may be you know being hypocritical I may be um, like making an assumption now my assumption would be that there would be hard points on each of those wings and the assumption could be that there might not be and I think that's where something like master modes would come in to be perfect for this ship in like some scenario if you understand what I'm saying now what I mean is master modes is to sp supposed to take power from things and then give power to things and you know if you were to use like a ship like this maybe you could use the power on the EMP um, on the snare on the jammer and then take that power and put it back to the guns now given that these will be sized well they'll be size 2 weapons on give through like size 3 gimbals that may very well not be the case but again that may very well be the case and creating some like discussion points on this ship I feel like people do underestimate these kind of like stats and this kind of um, thing and a lot of people have been going into the comments saying that this ship sounds like it's going to be very OP, which sort of led me to where people are going to say, you know, this is going to be nerfed. But then again, like people have mentioned, it sounds very OP, but there has to be some drawbacks. And I would agree. I would tend to agree. Um, 
But given, you know, we don't really know a lot about this ship or what's happening with it in the background, I think it's safe for us to just sit back, watch the development side of things, ask the questions at the appropriate times, and maybe, just maybe, we could get a Q&A, but then we could also get a thread on Spectrum being able to ask the appropriate questions. Now, if that doesn't get made, maybe someone could make a thread like that where people could go in and interject questions and not ask such obvious questions, but imp important questions. But again, once 3.18 goes live, that's when we will start to see more information on this ship. But until then, we can start seeing leaks and like we just have to rely on the leaks really. And obviously, um, it's just one of those things. Now, there has also been the focus and the description of the ship that has been leaked. Obviously, this is coming off the pipeline. Now, going into this, it's um, it's pretty interesting. I think we've already been over this, but it says the RSI has an updated, well, has updated the signature Scorpius adaptable biowing configuration and added a bespoke quantum dampener and EMP device exclusively designed by their in-house team to create the powerful Scorpius Antares. Built with stopping power in mind, the Scorpius Antares is engineered to bring any chase to a quick finish. So with that being said, I think this sounds like some good stuff and I hope that you all enjoyed this. I want to know what you think about all the leaks I've been giving you guys. Let us know what you think down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the verse. Bye-bye.